Hello, I'm Professor Ilgana Pagrebna, and this is uh, Behavioral Data Science in Financial Services course uh, that I promised to record. Um, and uh, I just, uh, before we get into the course, I just want to explain uh, how this course came about. And essentially, it came about uh, as a result of uh, my desire to support uh, Ukraine. And um, as you know, uh, since many of you have donated to the cause, uh, we've been collecting uh, some funds towards the Red Cross to help Ukrainian civilians um, and people affected by uh, the current conflict uh, in Ukraine. And so essentially, um, yeah, the war in Ukraine really changed my life, changed the life of many other people. And um, I was thinking, how can I possibly help? And um, I decided that uh, I am going to help in this way. So I'm going to uh, develop and record a special course uh, in behavioral data science of, of finance and fintech. So especially, you know, with financial services application. I thought it was going to be uh, of interest to many people. And I'm glad that it was. Um, the page uh, for collection was set up on just giving the page still exists so why it still exists is because i decided to keep it to um, actually show you how, how many um, uh, how much you know how much we collected and uh, what exactly we did here uh, but also i know that people have been donated donating to red cross outside the initiative and um, we reached about 63% of the target of uh, 10,000 um, pounds. Uh, and um, I decided to not, not so much stop the collection, but as you know, there were certain events uh, with the Red Cross that uh, um, triggered uh, a really negative reaction from Ukrainian community. Specifically, uh, there was a visit um, by the International Red Cross to Russia, where they announced they're going to open a, um, a center, a Red Cross center in Rostov to, quote unquote, help Ukraine. And uh, so there was a lot of ambiguity around what exactly uh, the center is going to do and who will be paying for the center. And clearly... None of the people like myself who are collecting towards the Red Cross wanted to see the funds being used in Russia. Um, since then, I have received communication from the Red Cross, and uh, they are saying that the funds specifically that I have collected uh, were, were not used in Russia. Uh, they were used um, uh, in Hungary to help a Ukrainian community um, and so basically, I will um, provide some material underneath this video where you could see the communication. Um, and I just wanted to say that uh, the funds are still needed. So if you are enjoying this course, if you enjoy the videos in this course, please donate uh, towards uh, Ukrainian charities. I will provide a list of Ukrainian charities. Um, should you uh, donate to the Red Cross? I don't know. I personally wouldn't advise you to do that um, because, again, um, you know, I'm not quite sure how they're using the funds. I'd like to know more. Um, from what I know, the funds have been used uh, correctly, so have been used towards the cause um, and haven't been used in uh, the funds that we have collected so far have not been used in Russia. But if you are not sure about the Red Cross, if you don't want to support the Red Cross, that's perfectly fine. Uh, there are plenty of other charities, small Ukrainian charities that I will put um, underneath this video. If you do donate uh, to these charities, which I really encourage you to do, um, please uh, leave a comment um, and tell us what you're doing because we would really like to understand to what extent this idea of recording a course, uh, putting it out for free in, um, um, you know, 
for open access on YouTube, to what extent that made a difference, uh, to what extent uh, it's actually generating impact. And of course, uh, we want uh, to help uh, Ukrainians um, who have been affected by the current war. Um, and uh, I really encourage you to um, to donate if you can. Um, not necessarily to the Just Giving page that I have set up. Again, like I said, I cannot uh, ask you to, to donate to the Red Cross considering what happened, considering how they um, damaged their reputation in the current um uh, uh, in in the course of um, the current Russian-Ukrainian war, but um, you know, do, donate to other charities if you don't like the Red Cross. Um, with that, uh, without further ado, yeah, uh, please enjoy the course. Um, we will be releasing the the course videos over the course of the next few days. Uh, the first video is already available, and um, I hope that you will like it. Um, I want to say to the people who have listened to other uh, courses that I have delivered previously that this course is going to be different. Uh, probably the first part will overlap with something that you have already heard because it defines um, the area of behavioral data science. But other than that, so there will be use cases, there will be examples from financial services that I haven't presented before. And uh, apart from this kind of definition, uh, uh, definition part of the course, a part of several, um, uh, you know, quite uh, uh, fundamental things that I need to mention at the beginning of the course. Uh, the rest of the course will be completely new, uh, not something that you have seen before. And um, I really hope you enjoy it. Again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has donated uh, to um, uh, the cause, uh, to Ukrainian civilians, to support Ukrainian civilians. And um, I'd like to thank uh, the behavioral data science community on LinkedIn for your retweets, for your likes, for your support, and uh, to this community on YouTube. Um, you guys are absolutely fabulous. So thank you so much for all your support. And um, yeah, uh, I hope that you will enjoy uh, the material that I have prepared. Thank you.